Jones. Um, my initials ERA actually hold a lot of significance for me due to the fact that ERA also stands for Equal Rights Amendment. It was a proposed amendment, not actually written into the Constitution, but it was proposed and it basically gave a guarantee by the federal government that they wouldn't discriminate on anyone based on gender or religion or even race. Um, it holds a lot of significance to me in the fact that a lot of my core values and beliefs are summarized in the amendment. So that's why it means something to me. Uh, today I wanna to talk about three things, my history, my hobbies, and my hopes for the future. Um, my history, my family is very traditional Irish Catholic. I also have a lot of Spanish and German roots on my mom's side. I grew up with two older brothers, which was great for me being a tomboy. I love my two older brothers, we're very close. And my dad has been a huge influence in my life. He's always been such a goofball and has given me a lot of my passion and love for music, um, which leads into my biggest hobby, which is continuing the family tradition of collecting and playing vinyls. I really love putting on a vinyl into my record player and just kind of losing myself in the music. Um, another thing that I actually have in common with Cindy Tushman is that I love to draw and I love to play with makeup. I feel like that's where a lot of my creative outlets come from is drawing. Uh, I also like watching cartoons and like John Loudon. I am a huge horror film fanatic. I love horror films. I also love true crime documentaries. And then the most recent one of my hobbies that I've formed is probably the craft brew scene here in Oklahoma. I really like beer. Um, I love the people I've met in the craft brew scene along with the different foods and drinks that I've gotten to try which leads into my hopes for the future, which is to hopefully one day own my own microbrewery. I really would like to incorporate a lot of um, my business management passion into this brewery and hopefully get more women into the craft brew scene because right now it is very male dominated. And to wrap it up, those that's a lot about me, my history, my hobbies, and my hopes. And I hope y'all enjoy this. Thanks. All right. So we have.